Last mission, last mission. Final boss mode. What it do, what it do. Yeah, <laughs> what's good, y'all? This is another uh, special episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpion, the Ringer representative. And as always, well, my my usual, my my right-hand man is usually, you know, on this, but, you know, he won't be on this particular episode, and we'll explain why in a little, in a little bit. But, you know, my other man is with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. What's good, y'all? You already know who this is. Your boy, King P, Bodega P, Bodega Box in the building. Your Ring Gang Radio, what up? Hey, Bodega P, you know, it was above ground today. You know, you know, it's taking a little break, you know. You know, not only taking a break from, you know, from fighting crime and whatnot, but, you know, got to get ready because, you know, Northeast is about to be snowed in this motherfucker tonight, man. Or, excuse me, tomorrow. You know, for the next two or three days, man. Yeah, I got all my Tims, all my Long Johns, all my all my fur coats. Like, I'm ready. <laughs> all my yeah, I, I, yeah, I feel you about I feel you about the Tims, yo. Straight up and down, yo. The Tims is the Tims are important, man. I think only the funny thing is I think only got one pair of actual Tims left because my other Tims. You know, like I, I never knew that Tim's can actually wear out. Well, like, I got you know, like I got multiple Tim's. Like I have good Tim's that I only wear like on like good occasions, and like ten I got Tim's where I don't mind just like I don't mind walking around in the snow or going to work with. Like I got I got, I got different pairs of Tim's. Like so, <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm like Thanos with the with the uh, Infinity Stones with my Tim's. <laughs> yeah, straight up. Yeah, I could definitely dig that. Um, hold up. So, oh, yeah, I know. Rome just said, you know, his phone just died. Oh, well, that's unfortunate, <laughs> right? Just about to, re- yeah, just about we, we about to record this. The heck, <laughs> yeah, no, right? Shit is, shit's already going and everything. Oh man. <laughs> well, let's say shit. You know, you know how would how would like, he's in his car? How the fuck is he gonna die? <laughs> yeah, like. Put you? Do you not have a car charger? Like, yeah, I'm saying like you know. I mean, this is this is 2021. You know, every car has one. Like my car has USB and 8V and everything, bro. My yeah, mine mine has yeah, mine has three, four USB cords and then one of the, like the old cigarette charger thing that I could use. That's the, for the for the lighters and shit. I could use that too. Like, nah, we can get it together. <laughs> Yo, Rome was a fool, yo. Straight up and down, though. <laughs> thinking, though. You know, so I guess you know we. I guess we will have to wait for him until he gets situated. You know, until he gets back on, man. But uh, yeah, that was uh, you know, you know that was uh, very timely. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> so let's see. Hopefully, he doesn't take too long. And if you're not, then obviously we can, you can always, we can, you know, edit, we can edit some of this part out anyway, so it's all good. Yeah, I, I figured. It is what it is. Yeah, you know, that, that would be LB's thing. But, you know, since, you know, while we're waiting, you know, I guess you're probably wondering, is like, you know, why isn't Shadowwolf the God on this? Well, you know, as, you know, as we, you know, as we've, as we've talked about, like, briefly during, you know, since we've, since we've started, you know, ring gang, you know, us, we're fans of other sports and other things. And football is definitely a thing for myself, King P, and Rome. You know, we're all football fans, big football fans. Now, LB, you know, you would think that being a Florida resident, he would actually would be a football fan. I mean, they got Florida has three NFL teams. Has college all football. types of athlete, all types of athletes, all, yeah. all n- niggas all run four four and below, like. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, so it, it's just really weird, and, and, and especially it's a violent football is a violent sport, so it, it's just it's weird that you know that LB is not a, a football fan. You know, we we've, we've all we've all attempted, we all tried. You know, it's like yo, once you watch these games, you know, you you'll understand why why we you know why we fuck with it so tough, you know. <laughs> You know, but um, you know that's LB. But, but I told him too. Is like, listen, you know, we we do this, and um, you know, when when the new season starts, you know, you you have more than enough time to get up to speed. 
that nigga not partake. Yeah, word. But speaking of that, you know, I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Yeah, you kind of low, bro. I know my shit was fucking up, yo. You don't know who the fuck it is. It's your boy Rome, Southside in the building, nigga. Ring game. What? That's what it is. Chicago, you know, Rome, Chicago win because he these niggas in the breeze, man. You know, like say, you know, you think, you know, you know, it's always it's always a good time to have room on here or whatever, because you know, yo, he's a hard dude to pin down sometimes, bruh. So, <laughs> so yeah. So, so the fact that we you know able to get him for this, you know, it's a good look. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, so yeah, so as I was, as I was, as I was explaining before, obviously, you know, you know, three of us are football fans and how it was where that, you know, Shuttleworth is not a production thing and young niggas live in, in Florida. You know, so it's kind of weird. You know, three NFL teams, college football teams, all types of athletes, and in a violent war like game with it. What do you, what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> Real shit. Yeah, you know, but I mean, at, at some point, yeah, like I said, no, I told him that by next season, you know, he'll, he'll have to get in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like he has he has seven months to understand what every what how things go down in football. You know, to pick a Florida team and then just to rock with it. <laughs> he not doing all that. Come on now, like that. If that man ain't gotten into football yet, he not going to now. But I mean, we maybe we can get him up to speed a little bit, but he not going to be with it like we are. Yeah, that's true. Like I mean, you know, just tr- just try to probably explain this nigga like all the positions and special teams will probably make his head fucking explode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh uh, shit, though. No. But yeah, so yeah, so tonight, you know, obviously, like, I mean, there's no, there's no real boxing on uh, next weekend. But so the big, obviously, the big sports event is the Super Bowl. You know, the thing, you know, and uh, Super Bowl, and this Super Bowl game should be a good one. You know, and it's have- in Florida. The, the, <laughs> so gotta love it. It's in Florida. Yeah, it's in Tampa. It's in Tampa. It's in South Florida. It's in Tampa, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> still Florida. <laughs> You know, so we got the Kansas City Chiefs, you know, you know, last year's Super Bowl champions. You know, they're going to be defending their title, led by Patrick Mahomes, against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who actually made the Super Bowl. This is the, this, how many years has it been since they've been in the Super Bowl? Was it 20? 2002, so <laughs> almost 20 years. Almost 20 years. God damn. You know, 20 fucking years, bro. Yeah, Warren Sapp and Rondé Barber and them niggas. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that was a Barber, was- Dexter Jackson, <laughs> like Brad Johnson, <laughs> beastly, bro. you know. And then the Warren, uh, Scott, uh, Simeon Rice, like that, that defense was loaded. Yeah, it was. And then, of course, you know, led by Tom Brady, who, of course, is playing his first season as a quarterback for the Buccaneers, you know, after his longtime stint with the Patriots. And, and Tom is going for. Was a seventh Super Bowl ring as a player, you know? I think, you know, and I think that is unprecedented, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> you know, yeah. But before we get into that, though, position is the hardest position in any sport. Like out of every sport, quarterback is the hardest position, and to win seven chips. I mean, okay, let me. I'm jumping the gun. I'm jumping the gun to win six chips. Mm. At the hardest position in one place, no talent really. A couple pieces here and there. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. The man is crazy. Yeah, no, it, it's absolutely nuts. Now, just just to, just to everyone obviously, ne- neither of us are Bucks fans or Chiefs fans. You know, I myself am an Eagles fan. You know, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> So, okay, so I myself is an Eagles fan. Pee is a Jets fan, so he's kind of tortured right now. I mean, I'm not tortured. I mean, I don't care. I, I'm I'm over it, but it's still it's still fuck Brady. So <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, things are everlasting. You know, because you know the Jets. You know, Brady has given the Jets a lot of nightmares, with the exception of maybe like two seasons. <laughs> well, yeah, and uh, you know, of course, Rome, I believe, is a Bears fan. In my oh, the Bears. Yeah, you know, you know, probably, you know, probably one of the best one-hit wonders in football. You know, <laughs> we made the playoffs every year, pretty much, except last year. <laughs> 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 
Yes, that is true. So, you know, so, uh, so, so, I mean, at, but at least now, you know, at least this year that the Super Bowl actually has um, two teams that we actually respect. At least we already know that, you know, this game should be something like, because the last couple of Super Bowls, you know, they, they've been weak. Like, uh, it's, like, they've been super weak. You know what I mean? So, I was talking to somebody today. I, a nigga was talking to me about it. I was like, to be honest, this has been the greatest game of a, of a Super Bowl, like too close to call type of game that mm-hmm. I've ever seen in my life. Pretty much every every game that I've seen has had a, an obvious favorite. It's like, oh damn, they finna blow their ass out, and it end up happening, or they end up winning anyway. You know what I'm saying? But this game is like. Is like really the best matchup that they could have made. Yeah, because and, 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 and like I said, it has some stories too. You know, you have you know Brady going for a seventh ring. You have Mahomes. You know, could he actually can he top up Brady once and for all and, and get a second ring? You know, we got Tampa Bay as we mentioned before. They are the first team to actually play in the Super Bowl and they're at their own home field. You know, and that in God and you know, there's been other attempts. I think the Vikings were the last pre, the last team to to almost do it. You know, right. then, then my team routed them 38-7 and you know, and that that <laughs> <I> was lost. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but yeah, no, this the, and, and honestly, just just off the just off what we know about the Chiefs and the Bucks, we know that this this game honestly has all the makings of a fucking shootout. Am I am I right, fellas? Do right. I mean, the defenses are kind of good too. So it's like you might get a takeaway here or there by both teams because Mahomes is gutsy. So he might throw some that he shouldn't throw, even though he's accurate as fuck. And Tampa got a good enough defense to get takeaway. Yeah, no, but I think that, yeah, and, and, and honestly, I think, I mean, it's going to be a shootout, but just like, you know, like all all games that are shootouts will probably end up with like a key defensive player too that will actually. They know be like late in the game. That will probably you no. Know, that will probably win it for either team. Defense you know? win Super Bowls anyway. Yeah, no, and obviously, I think the big thing too is like I think I think with Tom. Tom is the one that's been throwing them interceptions because in that Packers game, he threw what it didn't he like throw like three of them shit. Three. To be fair though, like two of the, one of them was off the hand. Like two two of them were like off the hands of receivers. But yeah, he did throw three. No, it, it was really it was really two. One of them was a drop, but the nigga he he he's been throwing interceptions like a at a high pace this year. He never be throwing interceptions like this. But with the offense, I guess it causes him to sling that motherfucker. So yeah, no, that motherfucker. yeah, I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously, you know, the Bucks have offense. I like Brady has a whole, whole bunch of offensive weapons. So I mean, that's not I mean that's not even a thing. But I think now, obviously, he's getting older too. Like. I mean, I know, so like you know, this is his, this was his first season in the NFC. So like Brady has been getting sacked like a motherfucker this that whole fucking season. You know, truthfully, truthfully, I actually I'm actually surprised he actually made it. Like his body wise, he's actually good. <laughs> you know, no, I didn't, no I, I, injuries at all. Was that? I said no injuries at all. He's been healthy all season. Played every game. Played every down. Yeah. Pretty- you know, I was like, I was like, damn, yo, this this motherfucker is lucky. He, he he must have that Eli fucking thing that you know that he didn't get injured like that. <laughs> oh, man. yeah, no, but yeah, no, you, offensively, you got Mike, Evans, you got AB. You don't know if he's actually gonna be playing or not. You got Gronk. You know, you got you know he you know he has a lot of real. Uh, he has. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What you mean, AB ain't playing? Then I know there was some shit going on with them. Like, I think either an injury or something like that. I think, I know I heard some shit about that. You know, that's a big hit. I'm not going to lie. Even though they got a bunch of targets, that's a big hit. Because, because AB, you know, he can call, he's a distraction. Even though on a, on a field, he's a distraction. Like, you have to, you have to put one of your best defenders on him because this nigga will break out on your motherfucking ass. So without him, it's just like you can easily zero in on Evans and Godwin and lock up. The- uh, I don't know, but I don't know about easy. Them, them, both of them dudes is top tier wide receivers, so you're not gonna lock them up easy. And Kansas City's Kansas, Kansas City's secondary isn't exactly their bread and butter either. Hell no. 
The reason <laughs> the Bucks have success is because they have so many great receivers that are spread out. I, I think there's so many ways for Tom Brady to throw that motherfucker. He can throw it to anybody. And he know everybody going to catch it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I feel like it will help the other team if AB is not playing. It will help the piece if AB is not playing. That's all I'm saying. I think what's gonna hurt, what's gonna help um, the Bucks is really they're gonna, they should be zoning in on the running game because the Chiefs have a hard time stopping the run. So if the Bucks can maintain the you know time of possession and run the ball, they should do pretty well. They should be able to slow down the off the Chiefs' offense just by keeping them off the field. Yeah, no, but also too, I mean, I mean, it's not the Chiefs are, sl- are slouches for the run game too. I mean, they, they they could be getting back Le'Veon Bell and Watkins for the Super Bowl, and they already have Tyreek Hill too. Like they got some speedy motherfuckers on that fucking team, so it's like, you know, uh, and I and I don't think the Bucks' run defense is anything so, anything home to write about either. I mean, the defense has picked up in the playoffs, but they've been suspect all year though. Yeah, no, and, and I mean, I, I'm just thinking back to the Bills game because, like, for, the, for, for the, like half of that game, you know, the Bills were, you know, I mean, the Bills were killing the Chiefs, I would say, you know, and then after that, you know, the Chiefs just, you know, did Chiefs things, <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, no, this should, this is gonna be, this should be some real shit right there because in the Chiefs backfield, I mean, obviously they're led by Jason Pierre-Paul, and truthfully, so I'm, I'm actually surprised this nigga's actually still playing. And he's playing at a high level. Yeah, with his with his with his three and a half fingers. E.T. phone home. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I know it's fucked up though. But you know, no one told this nigga to hold fire you know, fireworks in his hands and fuck around and you know blow his fingers off. You know what I mean? An all star pro bowler. Like, come on, nigga, what the fuck is you doing? Yeah, no, exactly. You know, honestly, the fact that I mean, I, I, I mean. He like, hey, but like I said, though, this dude, like, he, he's put, he's put in work, though, like, so I'm like, you know, he made yeah, it. But you can't, like, you would think that would be an advantage for other players. Nobody could take advantage of that nigga. That nigga will run right through your ass. One hand, no hand. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, big respects to that one. So, but yeah, you know, he, yeah, I mean, he's basically, he's good. He's definitely an X factor for the Bucks. Uh, but in terms of obviously, in terms of you know, figure out like a strategy, like you know, obviously, you know, Brady's getting older, so I think the biggest thing is like you know, the pass rush for the fucking Chiefs, like that shit, like you know, they should they some they need to get pressure on Brady, need to get pressure on him like fast, like you know, they can't let this motherfucker get war- warmed up or anything like that, like they got to make sure. I know. agree. Honestly, his age, you this this year proved his age ain't got nothing to do with this season. Tom Brady just got to go in there. And beat Tom Brady. That's all he really got to do. Nigga's gonna get hit. It's football. Nigga gotta get hit. He know that. Of course. He play as many Super Bowls in he, that he played in. He know they're gonna come after his ass. It's mm-hmm. all about experience at the end of the day. When you've been to ten Super Bowls, ain't no way anybody gonna tell you nothing about how to win one when you won six of them bitches. Yeah, that's true. You know, that's and then I mean, of course, uh, I think Brady has all the confidence in his O line. You know, I mean, his O line at least is confident. You know, like niggas are not gonna. I mean, it's, I mean, you don't see Brady getting sacked all the time, so you know, that's you know, that's a good thing. But you know, Brady is not the type of you know, he won't take a sack. You know, motherfucker will just go to the fucking ground. He's not, he's, you know, he's, he doesn't scramble, doesn't do any of that shit. So, <laughs> too smart for that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, not everyone's meant to run, especially not that motherfucker. <laughs> Uh, he's, you seen what happened when he ran? Who was he playing? What was that a Super Bowl or a championship game? With the the uh, where he went to the uh, he went to the hash and then he ran out for a, a route and he dropped the pass. That <laughs> shit was so ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, that dude. And, and it's to think that it's to think that dude used to be a receiver instead of a QB. So that was kind of that's even more wild. Tom oh, Brady. Yeah, before he got in the league, you know, like he, he was the receiver. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, no, uh, hey, I mean, you know, that, of course, that change up proved to be, you know, that used to be, you know, that change up. He was, he was originally a baseball player. He, he was a pitcher. Yeah. I remember he played pitch. He was a pitcher and then went to quarterback. I don't remember when he was a receiver, though, but. Mm-hmm. 
No, because I remember they say when he, they, they, I remember telling that they were he was actually a receiver first when when he was like when originally when he started playing football, and then you know he, he went to quarterback. Not like in the pros, he was never a receiver in the pros. Like there was no way he'd get drafted as a receiver. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say he ain't Ryan Tannehill. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh man, you know, but uh, so um, so Rome, the, how, how do you see this game going? Honestly, like I was telling a nigga earlier today, this game is honestly very, very close. Too close to call. I want to give it to Tom Brady because the experience, he's going to elevate everybody around him who's been looking at lost their whole fucking careers and now they're in the Super Bowl, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And all these niggas are putting their faith and soul in this nigga Tom Brady. They're like, nigga, this nigga's gonna get it. He's gonna get it for us. So they gonna come in there fired up. But the Chiefs, they just won last year. That boy Mahomes is ridiculous. One of the greatest quarterbacks I've ever seen. Nigga, what, 24? Like, yeah. come on. There's no way. This man be bl- can be blindfolded, snap it, spin around, and then throw it. And that should be a touchdown pass. I can't and his receivers. Honestly, the Chiefs got way better receivers than the fucking um the Bucks too. The Bucks got great receivers, but with Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey and even Nicole Hardman and they little gadget niggas, Sammy Watkins, it's like yo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like yo, they got Sammy Watkins as a gadget nigga. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no way. And my homes, I don't know, man. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, yeah, Hardman, you know, Hill, Kelsey, man. The niggas is, it's crazy because, I mean, they're fast for their position, so, like, they, they already know, like, if it's going to be a nightmare for uh, for the Bucks' pass defense, because as Pete said before, like, their, their, their pass defense isn't anything to write about. It's not, it's not really that great. <laughs> neither, neither of them have good secondaries. He ain't even got to throw it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got yeah. them. Neither of them have good, um, good secondaries, so that's where it's going to be fun to watch. Yeah, and and they and they both got decent O lines. So, like I said, you know, if the Chiefs, you know, could, uh, if, if the Chiefs could actually, you know, the O line could actually manage to give, you know, Mahomes like time in the pocket, you know, it's going to be a shootout. Like, you know, yeah, well, well, I don't, I don't know about that. See, that's the thing I worry about because the Chiefs O line is not at full strength. They lost their left tackle for the for the year, uh, Eric Fisher. Oh he, yeah, he, 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 he tore his he tore his Achilles. Plus, some of their other offensive linemen were hurt. So that's the thing. So they, they and, and the Bucks def, their defensive line is their bread and butter of that defense. So no, you absolutely, I completely forgot the I completely forgot about that dude because I remember because he was sitting on that bench, you know, in that game, like he was pissed, like you know that that his Achilles got popped. You know, I was just like, damn, yo, that kind of sucks. You know, and I was like, uh, but yeah, you absolutely, you you right. I completely forgot that dude actually went down with the Achilles. Yeah, so so yeah, so, is, uh, I have, so I have a feeling Mahomes will probably be doing a lot of fucking scrambling. Uh, yeah, plus the plus the fact that the that the Bucks are already very good at stopping the run, so I that they're gonna the, the they're gonna have a harder time running the ball than the Bucks are because the Bucks are much are good with running the ball and the Chiefs defense is not very good at run defense, so that's that's an advantage, Bucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, if if I'm, thinking, if I'm not mistaken, like the def- uh, the Bucks defense, the, the defensive front, um, aren't they like ranked like first or second against the run? Something around there? They're top five in the run. I don't want to say yeah. like fourth or fifth, something like that. Yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah, see, that's good. That's actually that's a good that's a good thing you just said. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can only imagine because I uh, honestly because. Mahomes, if Mahomes runs, because I'm, I'm just thinking, because you know, remember this dude was almost not, this dude was almost knocked out of the playoffs, you know, by a concussion. So and, and he got the concussion because niggas like fucking hit him, hit him with a fucking bulldog and shit <laughs> as he as he was scrambling. So yeah, so yes, yeah, so that's gonna be that's gonna be the that's gonna be the big thing too, because if he's forced to scramble more, he might put himself in the danger you know, to niggas to really really try to knock him out of the game. Honestly, Mahomes is gonna take off. He's gonna probably for over three fifty. Brady's gonna take off. 
he's probably going to throw for 400, maybe 420, because he's not going to want to give up the ball. He's going to want to control the whole game because he knows none of them niggas that he's with has been there before, except him and Gronkowski. Yeah. None of them niggas. Nobody on that whole team. Maybe a fucking assistant coach somewhere. <laughs> somebody, whoa, somebody. Whoa, whoa. I, I know. Shady McCoy is on the Bucks now. He, I mean, he's been there. Yeah, but they don't use. They don't use him. They don't use him. It's it's it's, it's only they only use Ronald Jones and uh, Leonard Fournette. Oh yeah, two, two niggas who never been to a Super Bowl that <laughs> are gonna run. They'll run into the ground this game for the Super Bowl. You can tell by the way Ro Jones played. He's gonna be in the Super Bowl. This nigga's finna run wild. I hope I hope Brady gives this nigga the ball. I hope they play. I hope they give Ro Jones more snaps than Fournette because I feel like they, they, they should because because he's have a hard time stopping the run. So yeah, he's the cowbell back anyway. He needs to get them one yarders, them two yarders, you know, goal line, whatever. But Ro Jones needs to be the main back on Sunday, and them niggas will run wild. If if Ro Jones is like a, a like a feature, like a star feature. I feel like they'll blow them niggas, not blow them niggas out, but they'll win. They'll win. Yo, but for this, I mean, honestly, I thought for, I, I thought Fournette would probably win up all his injuries though. But dude, dude has been clutching this in these playoffs though. Dude's been let, he's been running off some big boy runs and shit. You know, like Bro Jones is explosive too though. Bro Jones really explosive. He quicker than Fournette, and not as injury prone. <laughs> that's that's the important thing. Not as injury as fuck. Yeah, so it's, it's 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 gonna be it's, it's gonna be crazy. P, how do you see this thing going? Uh, this is this is a tough one to pick. Cause I could see, you know, looking at both their teams and the advantages that they have over each other. It's pretty. It can go both ways. Like we mentioned, like we mentioned, um, I, I mentioned the Bucks have the advantage of the running game, which is gonna play an important game, important thing because the Chiefs, their running game isn't as good, and they're gonna have a hard time killing the clock even if they do get leads. So it's gonna be a shootout regardless. Um, I think, I think the, uh, the, for the defense, the Bucks have the advantage in the defensive line, but I think the Chiefs have an advantage in the secondary, even though the secondary isn't their bread and butter, it's still better than the Bucks secondary. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I disagree with Rome. I think the, the Bucks, um, receivers are better, but just Mahomes is a better, is the better quarterback slightly. So he makes a lot of those guys look good, except for Kelsey and Hill, and even Tyreek Hill is a gadget player that they they feed him the ball. They find creative ways to get him the ball. He wouldn't be Tyreek Hill in a in another in another offense on another team, but that you know that's neither here nor there. Um, they have good weapons. I just I give the advantage to the Bucks. But I think when it comes down to it, I think that offensive line is going to have their that offensive line is going to be a problem for the Chiefs because they're they're hurt. A lot of their guys have no experience, so Mahomes is gonna, Mahomes is going to be feeling the pressure. Absolutely. So I think it's going to be a lot of passing. I think both of them. I think both quarterbacks are going to turn the ball over. Um, I can see both of them turning the ball over once or twice. Um, from my my thing too, is Tampa actually lost the turnovers like in the in the Green Bay game. They actually they actually lost that turnover battle on that game. Yeah. So ultimately, it's going to be a close one, but I think in the end, the Chiefs are going to slightly pull it out. But I can see the I can see it the other way around. This is hard to pick, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the Chiefs. I'll I'll, I'll say um, I'll say 38 to 34. Oh, yeah, I, I don't even pick. Let me do my pick too, nigga. Word up. <laughs> I'll say, uh, I give it to Tom Brady and the Bucks, even though I believe in Mahomes. Like, I want the Chiefs to win, but I know Tom Brady got it. And I, I actually want both teams to win. Honestly, I don't have a favorite. It's going to be a good ass game. I just can't wait to watch it. But I'll take Tom Brady 43 35. 4335. Man, yeah, so you really going for the high score. <laughs> they they're gonna be balling out. It's gonna be exciting.
Now, just yeah. I mean, I'm just look, I'm just looking at the official line for Vegas right now. So it's interesting because I mean, obviously we both say, we all think it's gonna be a shootout. So right now the spread for this game is Kansas City minus three. So they 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 they're expecting it too. Now, for the people that are asking, you know, what is a point spread? Well, a point spread in this particular case, let's just let, uh, it's better to do an example. So right now, they said, I just said that the, um, the Chiefs were minus three. So what that actually means is that means the Chiefs have to beat the Bucks by more than three points. <laughs> Pretty much. That's a very small margin because normally it's like plus seven, plus six. Yeah. You know, meanwhile, in, 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 you know, for, in, in, meanwhile, the Bucks have to win or lose by less than three, if I'm not mistaken, in the other way around. Now, if the outcome lands exactly on three points, then the game is a tie. So I mean, that's 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 gambling talk. You know, that's that's, that's if you're a degenerate gambler or former you you on these things. Now, the interesting one is in you know the over and under is 56 and a half points for this. So yeah, you know this. They're all pointing towards a shootout. Everyone in Vegas is like, yeah, this is going to be a shootout. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, over. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, that's both teams combined, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. I'm about to say, these niggas is not saying these niggas are going to score 56 points. If a team scores 56 points, that means there was a total fail on defense. <laughs> Oh, so this, who the fuck they think these niggas are? The Globe <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> no. But okay, that, that makes sense. About thirty apiece. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. I, I mean, I think too. I mean, honestly, I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I, I, I actually think I could see both teams scoring more than forty for some odd reason. You know, so I am probably looking at maybe a forty-five, forty-two type of game. <laughs> uh, I can see. It. I, 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 also, I also think that this, that this, this, this game will probably come down to like either a, a, like a, a field goal or some shit like that. That's, that's it, it. Might be one of them signature Tom Brady Super Bowls where the team, the opposite team, comes out whooping his ass by twenty points. Nigga comes back in the second half, throws six touchdowns in the last five. Nah, nah, this ain't gonna be this ain't gonna be that comeback kid stuff. Yeah, not the Chiefs. The Chiefs, yeah, yeah, no, this, this, you know these these niggas keep the fal- they, they, this ain't no Falcon shit, bro. Like he has not them done that in a while. <laughs> I'm saying, if he do some shit like that, that'll be ridiculous. But I know the Chiefs coming out hot, scoring at least 14 in the first. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, honestly, if if, if if you know if neither team doesn't score more than 14 by the end of the end of, by the end of the second uh, end of the first half, you know, I'll, I'll be thinking that I mean, you know, that either the defense is really earning their money that day or something, you know. But um, yeah, I mean, like. Probably like twenty one fourteen at the end of the first quarter. That's what I'm feeling like. Yeah, twenty one fourteen or twenty one eighteen. I, I I do think it's gonna be close. I think it's gonna be something something around that. You know, by the end of the first half. You know, but um, yeah, no, this yeah, this game is gonna be. This, I, I think this game's gonna be ridiculous, and we are owed a ridiculous Super Bowl game because the last two Super Bowls were not exciting enough. You know, like the past Rams Super Bowl might be one, might be the most boring Super Bowl I've ever watched. Why? Yeah, that shit was super whack. You know, like, like every, everything, was, everything was just loaded with incompetence. And that, of course, that's the last Tom Brady, the last Patriots Super Bowl win. You know, and then the Chiefs 49ers game was just, it was, it was, it didn't, it, it wasn't really that great. It just it was, looked, it looked like a bad game with a Nick with a winner. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that's, that's, like <laughs> that's a perfect fucking definition. Absolutely. <laughs> oh man. So yeah, no, so yeah, no, we're hoping for a good game, and obviously, you know, and you know, for the, for the non-football niggas out there, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be looking forward to um, the commercials and, and, and the fucking <laughs> halftime game. You know, don't have to, excuse me, have time show. And chili and fucking hot dogs. Y'all niggas who come to this shit for nothing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, you know, don't know what the fuck is going on. 
And you know, they'd be like, they cheer even though they don't know what the fuck they're cheering. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going outside during the halftime show. I don't give a fuck. That's what I do every time. Go outside every halftime show like my shit. Come back, third quarter. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> that, so what? So what are people's uh, Super Bowl plans and menus so far? Like tentative? Yeah, yeah, I ain't got no plans yet. I do know that they just put a wing stop by me, so I know where I'm going. Nigga, wing stop is trash. <laughs> baby, them baby ass little bird wings, nigga. Nobody. Trying I mean, to I, I, I'm. I mean, uh, the flavor, all right. The wings, I try. Nigga, nobody trying to eat them little ass wings. <laughs> I'm not gonna die on that hill, so that's fine. Or right. oh, no. <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna die over wings. Bob. I'm actually, eh, and uh, Buffalo always gonna be packed, so I'm like, or with 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 to go orders. So I don't know about that. But. Oh hell no! Why we some two man? You all rather make me? Nah, 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 nah. nah. We not, we not saying Buffalo Wild. We not disrespecting Buffalo Wild. Oh hell yeah, we is nigga. Nah, that, that, that is nasty. That shit, you could taste the water in the wings. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you stupid. Though. Eat them watered down wings, nigga. No, I don't think though. You know, Buffalo Wild Wings are kind of hit or miss. Like, I mean, the the two that are near me, um, point though. Except you know, there was one of them that you know, um, one of them the undercooked one of my wings ordered before, and I end up catching a little food poisoning. You know, yeah. and after that, I after I, I make sure it's like, yo, I want my wings fried hard. That's what I'm saying. How the fuck you fuck up chicken? You can only cook it one way, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Buffalo Wild Wings. That shit's trash to me. Nigga. I went there. That shit tasted like water. You could taste the water in the chicken. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And then plus too, like if you try to order with them motherfuckers on Super Bowl, you got order like six hours in advance, to pick it up at a decent time. Else, you know, you ain't, you know, you know, you, you, there's no way that you can't expedite your order. So it's just like you're probably better off making your own. And I know, for, I know, for, I know for myself. Uh, most like I'm probably either staying here. It's either that or I'm going to my boy's house. We haven't, de- we haven't decided either if people are coming to my place or I'm going over there. But if people if people are coming over to my place, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make wings in my air fry because I want to put that shit to use, and then probably make my stuffed cheese hamburgers. You know that type of shit. And of course, I'm gonna air fry, nigga. You gonna be air frying all fucking day making wings for niggas. Nigga, shit. Actually, I gotta make sure I get wings before him because you know things. You know wings run out before Super Bowl. Like everyone in the moment wings at the store. Yeah, so oh, I'm, right. Yeah. You're right. But yeah, no. I'm, 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 I'm definitely gonna give me some party wings. You know, not the ones that are like you know little retarded wings that are premiums and shit, nigga. So, yeah. so some big fucking wings. The big stupid fat turkey wings, man. The mutated wings. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. yeah, but yeah, yeah, definitely. That's definitely my plan, you know. Um, I mean, obviously, because you can't really go, you can't go nowhere, and like, I don't, I'm not gonna go to the night for wild wings. Cause it's probably because it's probably gonna be too wild, anyways, you know. So yeah, do it, do you know, you know, eat and drink and be merry, watch football in the, in the safety of my home or someone else or my boy's place, either one or the other, you know. So that's uh. So yeah, you know, we all, you know, it's gonna be, you know, we all, we all expect a classic game, it's a good game, you know, and uh, yeah, that's, you know, that's pretty about, that's pretty much about it, man. Super Bowl, and then you know, we, we, then we're, we're, then we're, we're without Super Bowl, we're out, we're, then we're without football for like the next seven months. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I got the draft, free agency in the draft. I be paying attention, so now nah, I'm good. I'm, I'll be, caught. that'll hold me down. NBA season kind of dope right now, so we'll be straight on sports. Man, man half them teams can do half them teams won't even get to a, a 82 game season because with all the quarantine and stuff, they they completely botched the season up, which is crazy because they won the, the playoffs right last year with the bubble thing. I mean, I mean that's the way that's the way it had to be, nigga. Shit. Yeah, I mean, you can be. You can't have everyone catching corona and shit. You know, but um, yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, we do. But you know, obviously, but I'm just talking about in terms of like Sundays. You know, my Sundays now, my Sundays I have to be free again. You know, I'm like, okay, I gotta go do something. 
you know, because ba- well, I mean, basketball comes on in the a- Sunday afternoons now, anyway. So and Sunday full time basketball is dope too, nigga. Even though football is unmatched, that prime time basketball shit is that's that real. Yeah, I mean, it's not. I mean, I mean. I mean, basically, you know, we gotta wait. Until we get into like early summer or some shit that when there's really nothing really going on. Well, unless there's baseball, you know. But I don't. I don't watch. Baseball. I don't watch baseball like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, it's just, but yeah, the Super Bowl should be a good game. Should be a classic game. Knock on wood. You know, if you're betting money on there, you know, we hope that you win. And if you do win, you know, make sure you donate to our PayPal, to our, you know, we have, we have PayPal, we have a whole bunch of stuff you can donate to, man. So just, you know, you know, just to support us, give, you know, show a little support, you know, and we hit you with some more dope content, straight up and down, you know. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's about it. So uh, final thoughts, Rome, do you have any final thoughts or anything? Tom Brady. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Brady the GOAT. That nigga finna get another one. Patrick Mahomes, Raw That's all I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> P? I mean, uh, hopefully we have a good Super Bowl, regardless of whoever the winner or loser is. Should be fun. You know, everybody be safe out there when you like, you know, order your food. Don't go out and create a drama. M- motherfuckers like to tear up, tear the club up, tear the house up because they team won or team lost or they lost money. We not, we not with all that. So just be safe. Have a, have fun watching the game. But other than that, you already know what it is. Ring Gang Radio all day. You know what I'm saying? You know where to follow us on. Ringgangradio.com, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. We got some dope content coming up soon. Got the cartoon episode three coming. We got some spinoffs coming. Just some, we got some stuff in the works. You know what I'm saying? Just be tuned. Be, be tuned. You you gonna see it? Yeah, yeah. That nigga sounded so smooth. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna see it? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, I mean, I mean, for me, obviously, you know, I want a good game, and you know, Tom, obviously, I don't want Tom Brady to you know to get his seventh, seventh Super Bowl ring and you know that's just me you know me you know on past biases and whatnot you know I was like you know you know 10 Super Bowl rings like you know this dude can this dude can stay at you know six and four or whatever man you know and you know stop all the shit you know this is it's my home's time you know the Chiefs are gonna win it you know they're gonna continue to win it you know they're, they're the team now they're, they're the best team in the league right now and you know, Brady's gonna, you know, Brady's eventually gonna have to go into retirement. You know, I mean, you know, ain't two more of these seasons he can, he has in him left. So, uh, you know, if he win, he coming back. Shit, I know if he wins, nah, he, he, he coming back regardless. He got one more year in deal. Oh well, anyways, if he if he loses, this is the passing of the torch. Yeah, it is. No the torch been passed. I don't, I don't need that. Oh, 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 oh. Cause he was in the playoff last year. Remember, he just had nobody. He was playing with me. I was out there, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's <laughs> yeah. Real shit. He had nobody. Still made it to the championship. You know what I'm saying? And um, he, but yeah, no. I mean, I I, I definitely want to see Coleman because I was like, you know, it's time for a new dynasty. But I know if the Bucks win, I know whatever strip club that's actually nearby, we're gonna see some pure ignorance from these cats. Because there's there's some cats on the on the Bucks that have not won rings. Like, uh, Sue is another because we didn't mention him. Dominican Sue, like he has. I mean, you know, I know that's like that's like my that's my lady's favorite like football player. You know, so it's like or one of them I should say. So you know that dude. You know, so I know they're, they're gonna be wilding out if, if the Bucks if the if the Bucks win it again after after almost forty years. Shit, I should drive up to Tampa. Fuck. I mean, shit, you might as well. I gotta take a four-hour drive. Yeah, I might as well. Get up, shut up, work. Be like, nigga, let's go to Tampa for a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Yeah, but yeah, that that'll be dope. But yeah, but other than that, you know, yeah, definitely support ringing. We definitely got some stuff, you know, in store for you. You know, got some more stuff, and you know. You know, that's being worked on, almost completed, man. You know, like I said, we just like to keep it nice and progressive, man. You know, all we are, we have, all, we have a whole bunch of ideas that we, you know, and they'll eventually they be they will become, you know, reality. And you know, and uh, you just have to, you know, just stick with us and stay, you know, 
you know, and uh, I know we see our, our increasing sub basis on our platforms. We thank you for that. So yeah, you know, just stay tuned, man. You know, so for myself, Pat Scorpio, the New England representer, for King P, Bodega P, you know, for Rome, Chicago win, you know, leaves these niggas in the breeze. This has been another, you know, wonderful episode of Real Talk, fo- Real Football Talk, you know, where as always, you know, shit's real and, you know, hopefully shit is real, you know, we talk about it. So until next time, peace. <laughs>